Alrighty. The carbureted fuel system for the LS swap. Let me just go over the overview before I describe everything and its purpose, part number, so on and so forth. Fuel pump, sending unit, this factory 87 Monte Carlo, 4.3. You can still get these today. You get your feed line and your return line. Always run both. Don't plug off the return. You're going to burn up the pump. You need the return. Ford Expedition fuel filter. Return style fuel filter with a fitting. Very common at auto parts stores. I'll give you the pure later part number. Quick fuel regulator. Summit racing gauge. Mandatory. And then of course this is a <laughs> old holly spread bore I had laying around. I'm using for presentation. Alright. Starting with the fuel pump. Personally for my swaps and my tastes. I always like to run factory style submersible fuel pump. Delphi pump preferably. The factory engineers they designed it for dependability and longevity. You can use a fuel pump for your rail and the frame rail but how many horror stories do you hear of guys running them on hot days they overheat, they lock up. I'm going with this. Delphi pump 15 psi throttle body application. G bodies, B bodies, even pre-77 uh, A bodies. This may fit. I can't give you 100% on it, but it may fit. Three wires, hot ground sender. That's it. One goes to your sending unit for your uh, gauges, one goes to a nice ground, and 12 volt. Use a, I prefer a 30 amp relay and a fused, uh, make sure it's a fused connection. We'll go into your fuel, fuse box. Very simple. Fused and relayed, always. And I have an override switch. This one I actually used in this car, but I ended up buying a Grand National Sender. This is my, my uh, fuel gauge sending unit's kind of hokey, as you can see. So, But for presentation purposes, this works perfectly. And then one of these is your vent. I usually run a couple feet of fuel and I put it up by the fu uh, fuel line and I run it up by the uh, filler neck. Alrighty, F65618, F65618 fuel filter, return style, put the filter as close to the regulator as, as you want, I mean I'd put it down on the frame rail, keep it nice and neat, but you want it up close, don't put it over here by the pump, simply because when you have it up here, the fuel coming back return is nice and cool, extends the life of the pump, keeps the fuel cool, yeah. Fuel pressure. There's a lot of debate about fuel pressure. Everywhere you see guys are running six, seven, eight pounds of pressure. Not necessary anymore. Unless you're running leaded fuel. If you got leaded fuel, run six, seven psi. All the alcohol in the fuel, it, the fuel is more. It's thinner, if that makes sense. Some people debate me and be like, "Oh, I'm full of crap." An old school carburetor guy taught me that. You don't need it nowadays. The most you want to run, and I didn't believe it either until. I started doing it. I carburetor would get wet. I couldn't figure it out. I was only running four psi, three and a half to four psi, depending on your application. If you're making a little more power, run it up to four and a half, five. But that's it for a good cruiser. Three and a half to four psi, no more. And nice thing about the regulator, well, nice little summit gauge here. And use a nine sixteenths and a Allen to change your pressure. That's all you need is no more than four psi for the street. That's about it. People question me all the time, you know, uh, sending, you know, like, what am I going to use for my truck? 73 through 91 GM trucks, Blazers, Suburbans are very popular swaps with the LS. If you're going to do a carbureted application, I recommend using the factory throttle body injected sending unit. I mean, if you're going to go with fuel injection, you retain the stock sending unit, but use a Walbro 190 or 255 depending on how hot your motor is. A stock motor, you don't need any more than a 190. But for B bodies, G bodies, even the earlier A bodies, Malibus, Le Mans, Grand Prix, this sender is perfectly fine. It's a direct bolt in. Um, you can even use the factory tank despite what a lot of people say. Just don't let it go under a quarter of a tank. I learned that lesson yesterday. Because you start sucking air, the computer, well, starts pulling more fuel. No. Just make sure you don't go under a quarter of a tank with an unbaffled fuel tank. 
fuel line, I run just stock, regular, auto parts store, cheap stuff. You're not running, this isn't a, this isn't a, over 50 PSI, this is only 14 or 15 max. Nice low, nice and low, consistent fuel pressure. But, it's a filter, regulator, simple, simple setup. Like I said, these are still available on Rock Auto. The sender by itself without the pump, that's the best way to do it. If you're going to buy a new sender, buy it without the pump because they give you that cheap junk Spectra pump. Put a Walbro or a Delphi fuel pump on it. So, if I missed anything, I left anything out, message me, email me. But the point of this video was to answer a lot of unanswered questions with my last fuel fuel pump and fuel delivery video. But this is a crude setup. Pump, feed, return, Ford Expedition fuel filter, uh, quick fuel regulator, summit gauge, mandatory, you need that. And then to your carburetor. And of course, 12 volts on a good ground, 12 volts fused and relayed. And boom, you're gonna be on the road. Hit me up guys. And have yourselves a great day.